Hey, geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Inspector, a utility from Gibson Research Company. If you're looking to find out if your computer is vulnerable to the Spectre or Meltdown vulnerabilities, this is the utility you want. He's been around for a long time and he's done a lot for Microsoft Windows and security, including discovering spyware and writing the first utility called Optout, which was taken over by Adware. That's how long he's been around. So the app is portable. We're going to want to right click on it and we're going to run around it as administrator and I'll tell you a little bit more why here depending on your computer if you want to disable or enable you have to be running as administrator to do so so there's a few things going on here it's going to tell you if you're protected or not protected and what your performance is so if you scroll down it starts out with a little description of what it's all about and then it goes into breaking down depending on what you want to learn what exactly caused what, how it works, why you're not protected, etc., etc. A little more explanation. There's a couple more sections. Now, here's kind of what you're looking for if you don't want to mess around. The guidance and observations. It's telling you that I am open to the exploit intentionally for this video, so I can show you. And that means the BIOS and processor firmware need to be updated. So you need to get your motherboard manufacturer name and model or your computer name and model go to their website google it and get the latest bios update the general rule in bios updates for any geek is never update your bios unless you have to well if you have a vulnerability to these exploits this is one of those rare times you need to update i don't think i've updated a bios in years and this will be the exception to that rule so it tells you a little bit more. It depends how much you want to learn. But you got to understand, the whole thing's explained. you got a problem. You don't have a problem. Performance is good. Performance is bad. It's all done right here. Quickly, simply, portable, 148K or something like that. It's a pretty small program. So depending on what you know and what you want to know, your smart move, if you don't want to get too involved with it, is just scroll down so you get to the guidance and observations after you obviously look and make sure you have something vulnerable okay now I understand that all of you cannot necessarily update your BIOS don't want to update your BIOS don't want to take the chance it's not too difficult long story short you get the software you update it you reboot everything's fine in a perfect world should it screw up long story short again on your motherboard and it screws up your computer there's a jumper next usually right near the battery and that jumper is off sitting on one pin. You pick up that jumper, you set it on the two pins, you pick up that jumper, you put it back on the one pin with the computer shut off, of course, completely shut off and unplugged. That will short your BIOS out, reset it to its original setting so that you can actually try it again because you do have to update your BIOS. So now let's say you don't want to mess around and you have something that is not protected. As you can see, each computer will be different. I can't click enable Spectre protection because I'm already taken care of. However, here, again, why you ran as admin, is I can click on that. Come on, there you go. And as you can see, click on that to enable it. And now I have at least some sort of protection for now. And that will cover you. You're busy with work. you got things to do. You don't have time right now. To give you buy a little time to go find out where you can get your bios done your next door neighbors cousin's brother uh, some sort of geek take it to a shop it's, it's pretty important so there you go and again like i said at the very top you get a great explanation if you want to try and understand it. he does a very good job of explaining it in just a few paragraphs and a really even better job each and every time of explaining where you're at so the Spectre and Meltdown vulnerabilities got real confusing. It's bad enough when you have one. To have two of these of such, I don't know what the word is. It's just epic. It's just such a large, widespread vulnerability. To have two of them at the same time is confusing to just about anybody. So don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. But take care of it with Inspector from Gibson Research. So I hope that helps you understand Spectre and Meltdown. I hope it helps you fix the problem. Hopefully it's all clear for you now. If you like the video, click subscribe. If you didn't like the video, click subscribe. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.